Ever since becoming a VTuber and having the awesome privilege of receiving fan art from you beautiful people, it amazes me more and more about how talented y'all are in making me look unreasonably hot. I've given drawing a try over the years, mainly in the form of doodling and class workbooks, but anything I ever draw always comes out looking like the great value version of what it's actually supposed to be. When I say, oh yeah, I can't draw, trust me, <laughs> I really cannot draw, but I would be happy in at least making a step of progress. <laughs> So let's just have some fun learning and get started. Also, just as a disclaimer, this video isn't supposed to be taken seriously. It's just me and my tablet having a good time trying to learn something new. There are so many ways to approach learning how to draw, and some ways might work better for different people. But I'm gonna start with trying to trace some basic shapes, and then we're gonna move on to learning by reference. So let's get started. Taking a look at the screen now, I'm working in IVS Paint because that's really the only software I know how to use. I have Procreate, but I've never used it before, so maybe next time, maybe next time we can look into that. <laughs> Check out these nice looking shapes right here. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in kindergarten looking at this. It might not be the most exotic thing to draw first, but again, I gotta start with the bare basics, and I mean very, very bare basics. <laughs> so let's start out with our circle here. Oh boy, okay, come on. Ooh, that was wobbly. That was a wobbly start. Let's go faster, come on. Okay. Okay, could be worse. We're just gonna draw this again. Oh, ooh, 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 that was not bad. That was not bad at all. I'm surprised. Nope. Okay, nope. <laughs> it's not, let's not continue that draw. <laughs> at a space amount so I don't get demonetized. I'm just keeping this out of my hand on the screen for now and it seems to be working okay. Okay, <laughs> it looked a lot better up close. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, could have could have <laughs> done a lot better. That that looks like no nope, that looks like an egg okay <laughs> i do not see an art with coda series happening in the future they look like little teardrops uh <laughs> that's how i feel trying to draw these but anyways let's move on to our triangle friend just gonna draw some happy little triangles the corners of that triangle aren't looking too happy though let's give them some oval tears <laughs> Okay. I think I'm drawing it in the wrong order. I gotta draw it like this. Yeah, that's so much better. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Oh my gosh, guys. Koda's tracing art. Oh, cancel him. Man, it's hard to draw like perfectly straight lines. I am just realizing that. So much more respect to you artists out there. Like, oh my gosh, how do you guys do this? I mean, whenever, yeah, I can tell whenever I try and draw from right to left, it's always like my hand just like squiggle, 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 and it doesn't draw a perfect straight line, which is sad. You see, every time I get to the end there, there's just a little squiggle that wants to happen. So now that we've graduated kindergarten and moved past our squiggles, I'm gonna stick to the brand and make some music staffs, but without a reference. We're just gonna draw something like, whoop. Oh yeah, just a little wave. It's like a wavy music staff though, it's not a straight line. Cause obviously I can't draw those. <laughs> now our goal is to copy our original line exactly and as precisely as possible. Let's give that another shot. I'm gonna zoom in. Start out here. Boom. Simple as that. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay, okay. I feel like <laughs> these four at the bottom were a lot better than the one at the top, but that's not what I'm going for, so <laughs> not exactly. Ooh, not bad, not bad. We're getting somewhere. Come on, we gotta follow through. <laughs> not exactly even right there. That's okay. Go down, up. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Looking like a roller coaster. And this time we're gonna draw it on top of our original line. Nice, look at that. Hey, okay, okay. One more line, one more line. This is fun. And why does this actually look kinda good? 
Mm, mm, interesting. All right, we're gonna try and draw on top of the original line again. Finish it out with that. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, wait, imagine if I add a little gradient to the back of this. Boom, <laughs> just like that. My commissions are on sale, just $10,000 each. I think it's time we draw something instead of random lines and shapes. Of course, these things take so much more time to perfect, but for the sake of your entertainment and this video, let's switch gears to drawing something like this. This is gonna be the first drawing I'm gonna do, just drawing by reference. And we're just gonna put it side by side right here and start. So we'll probably have to take use of different brushes and different things like that to get the right look for the bottle. Let's experiment a bit and try it out ourselves. So we're gonna try and get a nice inner ring of the bottle. Something to work off of. That could work. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> let's, let's try that one more time. Sure, sure. It's not great <laughs> at all, but it works. Now, just to get the little rim of the bottle. Nice, okay. So from that, we're gonna draw a little bit down. Here, gotta get our other bottle in reference. Curve it right there. Nice. Pretty much a straight line for then. Gotta get our sides even for sure. And I gotta start learning how to use different brush sizes as well. I think that's what's taking a lot away from some of the stuff that I'm making. Man, this is so difficult. I knew, I knew drawing glass would be a big challenge. And I took it. All right, and stealing your color real quick. Okay. Yeah, could be worse, could be worse. I think so, <laughs> I think it could be worse. <gasps> oh man, no, I just realized something. Okay, yeah, that's not how vision actually works. We gotta draw our cork on another layer. Mm. Yeah, there we go, we got our cork that's in the bottle. It, it's, it's actually in there. <laughs> So we did something right. It kind of looks like a chocolate chip muffin now. <laughs> and now you can't unsee it. You're welcome. Oh yeah, picture perfect. <laughs> We're gonna move on to our final reference for the day. And I've pulled a very special image from the internet for this one. Oh yeah, <laughs> look how styling this little pepper is. <laughs> I know just from doing the bottle that this is going to be so hard to reference and getting the shapes all correct, <laughs> but I, I want to just give it a shot. So let's just start with the outline of our little buddy here. I'm going to I'm gonna call him Frank. His name is going to be Frank. He's got two little ears that we're going to start with. Perfect. Now we're going to outline Frank's face, just like that, kind of. No. Sure, 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 that works. Yeah, yeah, I mean, kinda, that works. Here, let's get his other side of his face so we can try and be as symmetrical as possible. Ah, look at that, look at that. It's getting there. <laughs> sure, now it meets right there. Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, now Frank's got some pretty skinny feet. Outline his paw and the other side of his paw and go back up and boom, we gotta get wider. He has a wider stance coming up. It kinda looks like Frank, not gonna lie. It kinda looks like Frank, a little bit. Gonna go in with the airbrush, get him looking a bit more like his actual self. Yeah, just like that, just like that. That's perfect, actually. Your fellow Sheba's gonna give you a self-portrait. <laughs> I'm never gonna show this to Frank. <laughs> yeah, look at him. <laughs> Okay, we gotta fill in his mouth a little bit more, come on. Just like that, just like that, look at Frank, Ah. And now it looks like all that's left to do is to color in the rest of Frank. So we're gonna take our eyedropper and get it along there, bigger for sure. Ooh. Yeah, Frank, you're looking so awesome. Ah, oh, Frank. <laughs> Frank. Oh. <laughs> and I think we're gonna end it on that masterpiece of a drawing. 
As you can see, again, I am no artist at all, but that was an actual blast. I had so fun, like, just learning a few of the techniques that some artists use, even though if I can't exactly do them correctly. And I hope you enjoyed me and my first experience learning how to draw. I want to hear some of your techniques for drawing. Um, what are some things that you use whenever you're making an artwork that you always go to or just something that helps you out whenever you draw? I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and watching me drastically fail at drawing. But as always, I hope I brought some comfort and relaxation to your day. See you all next time. Bye!